Hello everybody in this new tutorial of Angular 8 and ASP.NET Core. So today we show you how to make a formula uh, validation. So first of all, uh, we need um, to make some changes before that. So let's add is loading property initialize it to false. So here we need to lock um, the submit or the sign up button when user click on uh, the button so here um, we prevent user to make a mini subscription with the same uh, email address so it's a check um, we can do this check in the HTML side and we need to make it also um, in the code behind in order to prevent the duplication of user in the databases so here we need to check when the user submit the information we need to check if the sign up form is valid and it's not loading and let's navigate to the sign up component HTML and let's use the disabled directive and the button bind it to is loading property and I will make some changes in CSS here we use the form control class you can see um, in bootstrap site web uh, this class so it's make the input field more beautiful than the native input uh, field so let's see what we have here so we have an error and I think yeah disabled it's not a capital letter D so disabled let's make refresh and here we can see the difference between the net field and the input with form control classes so here we need to add a div with a class call sm5 for example in order to make um, the label and the input field in the same row so in the same way we'll add a div for all other inputs and using the same class call sm5 eventually you can see it in bootstrap you can find um, many examples uh, for um, forms in bootstrap form great let's see what you have to do yeah it's more beautiful than the native um, HTML input so let's navigate to sign up component and here we have the sign up data uh, getter we defined last time so here in order to show um, validator error message we need to check um, if we have uh, an error so we add a div and if the sign up data getter dot first name the first property dot invalid so the invalid property um, angular uh, in every change uh, he uh, ran this operation in order to validate um, uh, the rules uh, set in the sign up component.ts so here we need to check also if user touched and leave uh, the input we show the message like here and we can use uh, alert danger class in order to make um, the CSS design uh, in red color now we add a span with the message and it's simple as that here we have our error message so we can delete alert danger I think no we need to delete alert in order to make um, the span more smaller than uh, alert class yeah that's beautiful here 
in the same way we do the same thing in last name we copy and paste the code and we change first name by last name and change the message so here we have first name and last name the rules the business rules is a required field for the email input it's a special case uh, it's contained uh, two uh, business rules so the email is a required uh, input and the user has to um, to put a valid email address string so the first span or the first message is the required and here we show the message switch the error so we have a div if we have an error if it is invalid um, property so we need to check it's like a switch in the C sharp we need to check if the error is required is the required error we don't so we show the email is required the second case is we check if the email error is error email which means the string email is not valid is not correct address so we need to show email must be a valid address that's great let's see the demo so here we have email must be valid address and if the input field is empty we have the email is required so the email and the password um, follow the same um, strategy so we have two uh, rules two business rules for uh, password it's a required field and we have a minimum of length for security reason which I explained at last time and mobile number here so we have only we do it simply a mobile number is a string type um, and is a required field so in real case we need to to check if a mobile name is a correct switch country so in the password here we need to check switch the error if the error is required so we show password is required if the minimum length if the error is minimum left, uh, length not respected so we show password uh, must be at least uh, the number of characters um, we define it in uh, TES um, file so here I think it's 12 yeah so we change the mean length here and the message for the error password must be 12 characters and I think that's good so let's see here in the phone mirror so here we have more than 12 characters that's great it's correct message and that's work nice so the, if the empty field is uh, empty we show the required field so thank you very much see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe